My cock is hard. Absolutely no one, not a soul, not even God himself was expecting this monumental bombshell of a teaser today. The fourth installment of the Budokai Tenkaichi series is currently in development. It still hasn't settled in that this is a reality. After almost two decades of the third iteration, we're getting the continuation to one of the greatest gaming trilogies of all time. I don't even think words are enough to describe how insane this is. I'm still in pure and utter disbelief over this sudden seismic eruption of news. I genuinely never at any point ever believed we would be getting a Budokai Tenkaichi 4. In real time, my mind keeps gaslighting me into thinking this isn't real, but it's f***ing real. My childhood is basically getting revitalized through this simple, yeah, simple announcement alone. Now, I'm going to have to speculate. After all these years, you have to ask yourself, how is this game going to be like? I always thought the Rage and Blast series was a spiritual successor to the Budokai Tenkaichi games, but no, ju just no. Them niggas were unbelievably stiff and those games barely captured the magic of the Budokai Tenkaichi games. Fuck out of here. With the heightened capabilities of the next generation consoles, it pretty much opens up a myriad of opportunities of how big and scaled this game can truly be. I don't believe people understand how significant this is for our franchise as cherishes Budokai Tenkaichi. I thought at the very least it would be remastered, like the trilogy would be remastered or remade, but not, <laughs> not this. It's hell of a lot better than those two outcomes, I'll fucking take it. Now for such a pivotal moment in gaming, it's only appropriate that I itemize what I would love to see in Budokai Tenkaichi 4. I'm pitching myself a thousand times and I'm still awake. Is Yeshua playing the joke on me? Bring back the substantial roster from Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I remember the gigantic leap in playable characters fresh off Budokai Tenkaichi 1 to 2. BT3 took this a step further, expanding the already rich character roster of 2, creating new possibilities of legacy characters, duking it out in settings straight out of the anime. Honestly, I can't help but think the legacy roster will be massively neutered in favor of downloadable content after the fact. I hope I'm wrong. Destructible environments. This is pretty much a given at this point, but I think I want to see this element of the franchise be elaborated upon even further, especially when you get slammed onto the ground by an ultra super califragilistic buffet of the fucking knee into the cranium. I want to actually see characters collide into the earth beneath them, leaving a gigantic dent. Throwable debris, rocks that float as you power up. Give me all of it. Try to make the arenas as dynamic as possible. Online multiplayer. This right here is an actual no-brainer. Introducing an online element along with its potentially huge roster into a game like Better Kaiten Kaichi 4 can without question prolong its longevity. Throwing some legacy game modes like the World Tournament where players all over the world can duke it out and show how bitchless they really are. Maybe throw in an endless game mode, raid battles, basically copy Xenoverse or Fighters homework and be good. You can even squeeze a rank mode in there. Although that might come at the expense of ridiculously OP characters like Birder, ugly ass nigga. Now that I've mentioned it, it's seriously going to be interesting how all the characters will be balanced out to compensate for the online atmosphere. One thing I'm definitely curious about is the main story of Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Are we essentially going to get a rehash of the story of Dragon Ball Z or a continuation of the events that happened right after the Buu Saga? Godhood, the purple cat nigga, opposite of Goku, Quagmire jerk off hand nigga, the tournament of power, Brody. Are they going to be including the non-canon movies? Jarvis put me to fucking sleep because I'm about to scream through the fucking roof. Honestly, probably the former will happen with everything else afterwards probably becoming DLC, which would not make any type of sense whatsoever, but it, it might be a tall order for whoever is developing this game to squeeze Dragon Ball, aka the thing that started it all, into the story of Budokai Tenkaichi 4, but at the very least, if a rehash is going to inevitably be done, include the entire story of Z, along with GT with a side of Super. I'm just saying, it only makes sense, and the canonical movie. But again, it may be a tall order, cause with the ever-growing landscape of games with monetary systems, you best believe Bandai or whoever is going to find a way to monetize this game for the long run. Betting my whole left ass cheek that shit is gonna happen, but I could be wrong. But with a return to such a beloved franchise as Budokai Tenkaichi, you have to make sure that you come back with a bang. Bro, give me all of it. Take everything for Budokai Tenkaichi 2 and 3 and just dump it into 4 and we my friends have a dealio. That foundation is there, it just needs to be built upon. There's already an expectation of what the classics have said. I can't even believe I'm saying this. Budokai Tenkaichi 4 is actually real.
Hey, yo, Spike, promise me you'll include a loading screen minigame where we clap Chi Lai's cheeks. That'd be great.